Hello, the weather has been fairly quiet recently, a lot of cloud around but mainly dry with light winds. For some of us, that is about to change. A spell of windy weather to start the new week. Behind that, it turns colder for a time, but much of the week ahead will be mainly dry with a little bit more sunshine. So here's our, here's our area of high pressure, which has been fairly stagnant recently. This deepening area of low pressure approaching from the Atlantic, we'll talk about that in just a moment. For the rest of the afternoon, it's mainly dry, some drizzle for parts of Northern Ireland, southwest Scotland here, still quite a lot of cloud. The best of the breaks to the north and the east of Scotland, the eastern side of the Pennines, down into the Midlands and parts of Wales, and not quite as cold as it was yesterday, temperatures up to around 9 or 10 Celsius. Through this evening and overnight, the cloud gathers across Northern Ireland and Scotland. The winds start to pick up here. Outbreaks of rain will arrive through the night. Some of that will turn heavy, sinking its way down into parts of Northern England. Further south, it stays mainly dry, a few breaks in the cloud, but most should stay frost free with temperatures holding up to around 4 or 5 Celsius. So here we are tomorrow, area of high pressure moving its way a little bit further south was this deepening area of low pressure, pushing its way to the north of Scotland. Notice the squeeze in the isobars. So it's going to be a windy day, a wet start across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That rain will be sliding its way southwards through the day, weakening as it does. So very little rain getting down to southern parts of England and Wales. A mild day, temperatures up to around 11 or 12 Celsius. Still some rain swirling around that area of low pressure across the north of Scotland. But it's the strength of the wind that we're most concerned about. This is an idea of gusts through the day tomorrow. But for parts of Scotland, particularly the Northern Highlands, the Northern Isles, we could well see gusts of 75 maybe even 80 miles an hour, so some disruption is possible. Now that area of low pressure then moves its way through the North Sea across into Scandinavia. Behind it, we pick up a colder north or northwesterly wind and still quite windy for a time on Tuesday, particularly for northern and eastern Scotland and down some eastern coast. And we start to pull down some colder air, the milder air really reserved for the far southwest fringes of the UK. But on Tuesday, say for a few showers for the northern highlands along some eastern coast, it'll be a mainly dry day. There'll be some spells of sun Sunshine. It will feel chillier given the strength of the wind, but across western areas, temperatures still holding up into double figures at 9 or 10 Celsius here. Further east, more like 7 or 8. As we go into the middle part of the week, this is probably going to be one of the coldest days. There'll be some sunshine, particularly through the spine of the UK. A bit more cloud for eastern coast, more cloud arriving into western areas as well with some patchy drizzle and fog here. But temperatures by day, not much higher than 4 or 5 Celsius for some. Then some subtle changes on Thursday. The winds become more westerly across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. More cloud coming in here. The best of the sunshine the further south and east you are. Temperatures here just 7 or 8 Celsius but starting to recover further north and west. Now we end the week with this area of high pressure still with us. So it's a settled end to the week. Quite quiet. There should be some spells of sunshine. Still some cloud coming and going but a fairly settled day to end the week and temperatures getting up to around 10 maybe even 11 Celsius. So we're still with something a little bit milder. But let's talk about the jet stream, our winds high up in the atmosphere, which drive our weather patterns. For a time, the jet stream has been well to the north of the UK. As we go into the weekend, it starts to slide its way further southward. So that's going to bring some more unsettled conditions as we look ahead to next weekend. It'll often be windy and there'll be some spells of rain as well, maybe with a bit of winteriness. Bye bye.